Hey guys, well today's March the 25th. A few months ago, the end of December, I put down this black silage tarp. I believe it's around 20 feet by 40 or 45 feet. Put it down and let it sit for a few months, hoping it'll kill off the grass and weeds. So uh, today we're gonna be pulling it back and uh, revealing how it did on killing off the grass and seeds. We'll get it all raked up and rotor tilled it and I get it prepped for the second garden. So just thought I'd share, thanks. All right guys, just got done removing the silage tarp and uh, did a pretty good job on killing off the grass. Now we'll have to go through and rake out all the dead weeds and leftovers and then uh, we'll use the rotor tiller to till it up. We'll put down some uh, topsoil and some compost and some organic uh, rabbit manure as fertilizer to help prep the soil to help build the nutrients and then uh, a little bit later we'll get it ready for spring planting so thanks for watching Hey guys, I'm Van again, and uh, we're out here back at the garden. Kind of had a bonus score today. Uh, stopped by a garage sale here locally in Chesapeake, and uh, found someone selling a couple of rototillers, a uh, regular size front tine, front tine tiller, and then a small Toro uh, lightweight tiller that we could use for the uh, raised bed. So I'm gonna try to have a work on them and clean out the carburetor and my neighbor uh, Shane gave me a hand and uh, we got it working tonight so let me uh, flip it around here and you can see right there's the new rotor tiller it's a uh, Craftsman 825 series it's a 24 inch front tine tiller so uh, we're gonna set up and uh, till up the new garden tonight and then uh, hopefully tomorrow We'll add some uh, nutrients so we can prep it for spring planting. So stick around and I'll do another time-lapse video of telling up the garden. Mm -hmm. 